Hi guys, thank you for coming back to my channel. You have come back to Charismatic Clam with Charisma and I thank you guys for watching. So, I decided to make this video today because I wanted to come and make a video for pretty much the girls. So, if there are some men on this channel who might be a little shy to this conversation, you know what? Nah. Y'all men need to say too, because y'all need to make sure that the women that y'all dealing with don't have these issues. So today's video is going to be all about feminine hygiene. Yes, ladies, feminine hygiene. We all deal with it. So I feel like this is a perfect video to make, um, especially in 2020, because some of you ladies out there may need to do a little updating of your routines. You may find something in this video. You'll be like, hold on, I ain't think of that. Um, so I just wanted to make a video pretty much not telling you what you should do, but telling you what I do. And you can take maybe a little page out of my book. Um, you know, you can take a page, you can keep a page, you can flip the page. I don't care what you do with the pages, but this is what I do. And this is what works for me. Um, but I am going to put out a disclaimer. I am not a doctor. I am not an OBGYN. I am not a gynecologist. I am not a anything but a charisma with a V. So, since I have a V, and you ladies out there, y'all have a V, and men, y'all seem to like V, so we're going to just talk about the V a little bit and how we keep it clean. Okay? Stay tuned. So, we are going to go ahead and get started with this video. So, for me... What I tend to do, especially when I'm in the shower and I'm using different products and whatnot, you know, to take care down there. Let's start with, first off, underwear. Um, I like to make sure that my underwear keep me nice and cool and that I have very, very cool cotton wick underwear. Now, I know for some ladies, y'all like to have them satiny drawers and stuff like that, but that not gonna work. Like, that's that's really not gonna work too, um, too much because it doesn't really... Um, kind of keep the moisture off of you. So what them satiny drawers is going to do for y'all is pretty much keep that. that. So um, I want to start with my nighttime routine of showering and how I keep myself, you know, fresh and ready, um, you know, for my next day. So at nighttime is when my routine starts. So <clears throat> at nighttime, what I like to use is the Vagisil Odor block bath um, wash. So once I have used my body wash and my body soap, which I love to use Dove, I, I don't use anything else but Dove. Name the Dove. I use it. Um, the coconut um, selling, smelling one, the shea butter one, the pink bar, the white bar, the sensitive bar. My house stays stocked with Dove. We that's Everybody uses it. The, the child, I use it, and she uses sensitive skin because she's very, very sensitive. But the child uses sensitive skin. I use Dub. When the man uses, everybody uses Dub. This is a Dub household. So this is what I use at nighttime after I've lathered up, used the bar soap and everything. No, um, I do not put this inside or anything like that. I don't want to be too, too graphic. But I don't put it inside. I'm not, you know, going crazy with the wash. But I like to make sure that my V is nice and clean. No, you know, scents, free of scents, free of odor, free of all that. Now, um, I know that some people will definitely probably say charisma. Nobody needs um, an odor block soap. Nobody needs that Vagisil stuff. No one needs Summer's Eve. Um, your vagina is great to clean with just some water in your hand. Listen, if you would like to smell like old earth and moonchie, that's up to you. But this V, no, we're going to smell like birds. We're going to smell like the berries. We're going to smell like the, the boysenberries out in the, we're going to smell like peaches. We're going to smell like Jennifer Bree, whatever it is. That's what we're going to smell like here. I'm sorry. I don't want to smell like mother earth. I don't want to smell like old earth. I don't want to smell, you know, any type of, you know, just stale scents. Like, I, I need a scent. And I'm sure um, whoever is there as well, they need a scent too. So you do what you do with your V. 
I'll do what I do with my V. Okay? All right. So, <clears throat> just as to name some shower scents that I, I love this one here. I got this from Target. And this thing right here, especially if you are a vanilla um, person, this, <sighs> like it smells like coconut. And, and vanilla, it has such a warm scent that I absolutely love it. So if you have not seen this at Target, go ahead and go get it. So I also like this one as well, especially when I have dry skin. This is what I use. Um, and so far, I found that these two are very safe so far to use on my V. I have, I really, I haven't had any irritation or anything like that to, you know, my area. So these are just some of the things that I use when I'm in the shower along with my Dove soap as well as using this. Now, I don't use a whole lot of this. I wash, believe, and I'm sure there are some people out there as well. I wash back and front with the Vagisil. Um, so the just some of the stuff that I use though to keep myself, you know, smelling clean and fresh down there. Um, so another thing that I use because what I normally go to European Wax Center for my waxes and stuff like that. But when money gets a little tight and you can't afford to make that appointment, and but you still got to make sure that down there the maintenance is, is on point. This is one of the products that I use as well. So this right here is good for in the shower. Uh, so I, But me, I kind of prep myself a little bit before I go in the shower with this. Let it sit on. Now, I don't let it sit on too long. And I do not get this stuff inside. Because, baby, you get this inside, <laughs> your whole night is lit. And not in a good way, though. So, make sure that if you ever, for those ladies out there who may be interested in trying this product, it says sensitive skin, but your know, that V, the, the inside, them lips, they real sensitive. So um be careful. Don't don't listen. Be careful. I can say that because I've done it and I, I listen, let me be your guinea pig. Be careful. Okay. So I use this pretty much to um especially in between my appointments or if I'm short on cash or strapped for cash and I really can't get to my appointments like I want to, I use it to get the hair off and it does a great job. What I will say is it definitely keeps the hair away a little bit longer than the original nail if those of you use it out there. So it says that you'll have smooth skin for up to six days. Um, for me, it takes, I will say it takes maybe about two weeks before I have to do like a new application with this, but my hair kind of grows slow. Um, so I don't really have, like for some people say like it grows like a whole wildfire and stuff like that. I don't really have those issues. Um, so, but when you go for waxing, I, I, this word here will never take the place of waxing though. Waxing is like... That's like the elite status of, you know, maintenance. I love a good wax. So, but if you can't really afford to do a wax or whatever, this right here comes in clutch too. So another product that I use when bathing um, and I want to kind of like soak is the Queen V. I love this stuff. Like it smells so good. It's a, like a bath, um, like a bubble bath. So you just pour it in your bath. It suds up. And this right here has... Um, it has, it's got a collagen approved and it, it definitely helps with your pH balance and it doesn't throw it off. Basically that's kind of all that it means. Uh, so the soak works, the soak works to soften, delicately moisturize and scent skin without irritating your queen V. And those girls who are really, really sensitive down there, um, this right here, I, it would be pretty good. So for me, I don't really suffer with those sorts of issues with irritation and extra sensitive skin in that particular area. I found that over the years, I can pretty much use just about anything. Um, I don't have too much of a sensitive um, V. But as you guys all know, I was recommend. Well, I'm sure some of you guys already have fell victim to this as well. So I was recommended to use like the Dr. Bronner soap. And I did not know one time how Dr. Warren soap could be. And let's just say that was some kind of night because that, that, that I felt, I felt real clean. I felt like 
somebody turned it inside out and cleaned it out. Like it, it was a different type of clean. Um, so I know that for me though, Dr. Braun is, I guess is a little too strong and I know better that for the next time. Like it's not like using your regular body wash and you really just getting up in there and doing what you do. But back to the wipes. So I have the wipes and I carry wipes inside my bag because one thing that we all can attest to, all ladies, you know when you have a scent and you know you don't have some some we don't carry wash rags and stuff like that on us every single day even if you don't have a scent so i am one who i am really really conscious about having a scent or having any type of smell i don't want nobody smelling me and i definitely don't want nobody ever have to call me out on a scent so i make sure that literally my purse is all strapped up like i have wipes i have um fragrances i have all sorts of stuff to make sure that my personal hygiene is well taken care of at all times. So I keep wipes inside my bag. So when I go to the bathroom, um, just, you know, sometimes just to be refreshed. Uh, sometimes also just, especially when you're sweating for those ladies that go to the gym quite often and you need to wipe up until you get home. Let's say these wipes come in handy. You can use these and I've used them to wipe maybe under my underarms, in between my breasts a little bit, my, um, you know, my private parts just until I get where I need to go and you know then I'm going to go shower as soon as I walk in that door so I use these these stay in my purse I also have the individual ones as well that come that you can just throw them very discreetly in a bag um, a purse whatever it is so if you're going out for a night um, you know just to have fun and you just may need a wipe or two or whatever inside your bag you just you just never know as ladies we have all sorts of things going on so we want to be Prepare for every instant, everything that could possibly happen. Uh, at least that's me. So, I keep the wipes on deck. I also have the FDS spray. And I know that they say that this is not healthy. I do not spray this directly on my parts. I make sure to spray this in my underwear. I love to have these and my under um, to have these in my um even in my bag i'll carry them but i love to spray it in my underwear because sometimes the scent of it just smells so good and you know it's when you sweat and when you're especially down there because it's such a warm area um to have that you know just to know that you're secure and have those different um have these different little things as for me a shield of armor inside my bag especially when like i said uh being a girl of a certain size um, I like to make sure that I have these little products in to keep me fresh all day. Like, who doesn't want to be fresh? But that's what I use. Like I said, um, you may use something different. I also like to do, you know, the old school um, flush out, especially the inside right after having my um, menstrual because I f that's how I feel fresh. So I know some people do like the vinegar and water mixture inside the little bag thing. Yes, I have an old school bag. I still have it here. My mom gave it to me. So I make sure that I still use it. And no, it's not her old school bag. Like it's a brand new bag. She bought me one and I have one now as well. She gave me one. So I use that, especially when I have my, like when I'm off my menstrual to make sure, you know, everything is pretty much good down there. So I'll use, and it's not half, some people say half vinegar, half water. I don't do half vinegar. I don't think that anyone needs that much vinegar and water. Um, so it'll be like a part vinegar and the rest of it water just to give yourself a nice flush out. Yes, I do understand that the, that the vagina is its own self-cleaning, um, area I, I get all of that but i like to make sure that i am really that, like i'm clean i just like to make sure for myself um so i'm i do not advise you to go get uh those what is it summer's eve douche and stuff like that i know that they are most of the time a cause for um yeast infections don't quote me please ask your own doctors about this information but I know that for some, this definitely can cause um, issues. So I also use Bath and Body Works products, but I use it on my body and the outside, you know, just for scent purposes. I, like I said, for some people, 
it causes issues with, um, you know, yeast infections, itchiness, stuff like that. I, I don't have those issues. I must have an ironclad V, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> those things just, they really don't bother me at all. Um, so another thing that I had, I don't have here, but my household, because I am a big stickler for white washcloths. Yes, white washcloths. So I know not everyone is um, onto white washcloths, but me, I have to have white washcloths from here. My daughter knows. If I ever get in, let's say for whatever reason, I'm in the bathroom and I call someone to say, hey, can you bring me a, a, a washcloth? They automatically know, give her the white ones because she she's not gonna use these colorful ones. So in my household, I do have colorful ones only though for company and they're always brand new. And I stock up on washcloths here. I stock up on white ones because after, you, we, as we all know, after a couple of um, uses of those white washcloths, they got to go in the garbage. Like, they just have to go in the garbage. So whenever I see white washcloths on sale, 100% cotton, I stock up on them. Um, I don't know. I just, I guess I just like to see my dirt. <laughs> I say it all the time. I like to see my dirt, especially when people be like, why do you always have to have a white washcloth? Because I like to see my dirt. Like, no other reason. I love to see my dirt. It lets me know how good of a job that I do in the shower. Um, I don't know. I'm weird like that, I guess. So, guys, let me know if you have any um, special... Um, hygiene regimens or anything like that that you guys do for your you know special parts um maybe they might be something different I, I love to be able to kind of feed off of people maybe I might find something in your regimen that you may um that works for you that I possibly I could try and something here or a product here that you've seen throughout this video that you may want to try so thank you guys for watching and I will catch you in the next video Bye.